In this video, I'm talking about the Logitech G29 and we're going to talk about common problems and how to fix them. So let's get straight into it and give you some tips. The first thing that people have problems with the Logitech G29 and I had a problem with was actually mounting the wheel to a desk. So here's a proper tutorial on how to actually mount this to a desk. So basically, we have these mounting clips that we basically push down and then they will come like that and then you turn to the right and then you pull them up and then basically from there you can actually spin them left or right to mount it so that's now fully unmounted so now as you can see we have these clips that was like trying to pull them out so basically to stop that from happening you basically push it in so it will come like that essentially and you basically push that in and then turn it and now you can actually mount it through that way so let's mount it turn it right push it down and now that's mounted and you do the exact same thing on this side push that down and then spin a little bit and now logitech g29 is fitted onto a desk so that is the first thing the next problem that people have is understanding what these pedals do. Well, it's a problem that I had when I first got the G29 was understanding what all these pedals do. So basically we have left to right, basically the far left, I was like, what does this pedal actually do? So it's a clutch pedal. So basically clutching is for like manual driving and you clutch and then change gear basically. So that's what that's for. And then as you can see, on this we have these two metal things and what that does is change gear so you press clutch and then you change gear at the back there and that's what that does and then we have brake and then we have drive so that's basically what that does i've got this really nice and cable managed so basically what i've got is all the cables sort of around the thing and then i've send it through so if we take all this stuff out and i'll show you from the beginning how i actually did it all so so also if you want to connect the shifter to the logitech g29 basically what there are these logos here so the logo for the shifter is right there so that's how you connect it through to the g29 so if you want to actually connect this pedal board to the Logitech G29. We have this cable that we mount it here where the pedals are. There's like this pedal logo. So we put that in there. There we go. And then the power cable and then you've got the shifter there. So what I'll do for cable management is push this around and now push this right down here and then those clip in. So now we have good cable management for our Logitech G29. So that's how that goes. And now we have another cable, which is the power cable that can go through here. And then you can do the same with the, the shifter. So yeah, that's how we do the cable management. It looks really good and clean. And we can now mount that really easily on here. And then boom. Right, awesome. So now that we have all the problems with the actual physical Logitech G29 sword, now we can go to some of the gameplay and actually connecting it to the PlayStation 5 and some common issues that I've had. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually connecting this to a PlayStation 5. So there's two different ways via USB that you can connect it via the back and the front. So we can do it via both ways. So with the Logitech G29, it says specifically that it can do PC, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. Well, guess what? It can do PlayStation 5 as well. It will just appear with a light saying the PS4 is activated, which is why it's sort of outdated as a model, but it definitely can work with Gran Turismo and Need for Speed Unbound, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's jump right in. Connecting it to the PlayStation 5 in the back. So basically, as you can see, spinning, and that's just it mounting. So it will show a light saying PlayStation 4 is activated. 
So what you need to do from here is place the PlayStation icon on the Logitech G29. One, two, three. And now we have a controller assign button right there. And now you can just press X. And now we have the controller assigned and we can actually use the Logitech G29 as the controller now at this point. So basically for driving, we can now select a game and start driving. So right now, for example, the controller is not working with Diva Speed Unbound. And that was an issue that I had before. I was like, well, how do I get this to work? Basically disconnect it from the PlayStation 5 and then remount it at the front of the console. So right now, it's not working with the PlayStation 5, but it is working as a controller. So what I'm gonna do is reconnect it. Let's reconnect it. Let's do this thing. And then press the PlayStation icon. Now log in again as a controller. And there we go, it's working. So now, press the options button to we can do whatever we want. Alright, so let's say, for example, we're in Gran Turismo right now. We go to World Circuits. And if we go to our Options menu in World Circuits, we have the Options. We can actually go to Controllers. And then we can affect our Steering Controlling Settings as well. So you can do Pedal Calibration here. So I can input different levels here of the handbrake and all sorts, the clutch, the brake and the accelerator. So you could have our default settings or you could actually affect that as you want it. And then also here, we also have the Logitech G Pro Racing Wheel. So a little tip is we could actually customize our settings here. So instead of reverse there, we could change it to something else. Um, we've got the horn button, which is interesting. So we can turn down the vibration, which is sort of like force feedback in a way. So we can turn that down. One thing I've learned really through driving here is that the wheel's gonna go crazy if you do big movements. So you sort of wanna do sort of not as big movements with the driving. So if we press square, we can actually change our different screens here as well. So we can change it to sort of like a first person sort of driving. We drive in two different ways. So we can actually get some different menus up if we press square. So that's what that does. Triangle is to brake. Or we could use the middle pedal, stuff like that. We can actually press circle to do some skidding. Ah, and here's uh, force feedback. So if you go options, you can change your force feedback settings as well. So people don't like force feedback a lot. So you can change that down to one. People tend to turn off the force feedback while driving these things. And it helps them drive a little bit better on these games. So yeah, there's plenty of tips there for you for driving with the Logitech G G29. So if you like this type of content, make sure that you like and subscribe and I will make more content such as this. Thank you for watching. What happens if I just go BAM?